So iOS 18 has been out for a little bit of time now, and there were a couple of hidden features that Apple threw in inside of iOS 18 that were actually pretty crazy, and it was pretty surprising that they didn't really talk about it. So I want to go ahead and basically hit on these for the most part. There's just a few that I saw, and it's actually pretty crazy. So the very first one that's actually pretty insane is when you actually click the power button and the volume buttons on the side of your phone, there's some indents that actually happen on the display this time. So if I go ahead and basically just zoom in, it's very, very subtle, but if I go and click the power button, look at this side of the display. When I click the volume down button, you can see that there's actually a little indent when I click on the, you know, the power down or the volume down button. Same thing with the volume up button. It's very, very subtle, but you can see that it actually does kind of indent in the display a little bit. Same thing with the power button. If I click the side button right here, you can see that there's a little subtleness of the you know, volume buttons being clicked. And it's so funny why Apple did that. I don't know why they did that, I was messing around with my phone and I saw that they didn't have that before, but they have that now. And I'm actually very, very excited that they did that. Such small little things and tweaks that they added, which was actually very cool. Another cool thing they threw in here is specifically within the settings application. They didn't do this with every iPhone. I'm not surprised. They probably only kept it for the pro ones for the more expensive ones. If you click on battery and if you click on battery health and charging, some iPhones now allow you to set a custom charge limit. Now I don't have it on my 13 pro, but on you know, a screenshot of it, you can see that on some iPhones, I think it's the 15 Pro, or at least the ones with the dynamic island, you can set a custom charge limit of how much you, you want your iPhone to be charged up to. Now, this is really nice because before it was only like 80%. Now you can keep it at like 90%, 95%. And this is actually much better for you for your longevity of your battery. A lot of electric cars have this. A lot of phones have this in general. And now our iPhones are getting it, at least the Pro ones. And this can help preserve a lot of battery health in the future. That's another really cool thing. Our flashlight also got a little bit of a feature set too. So now before with our flashlights, you could go ahead and hold it down and you can change the you know, intensity of that brightness of that particular flashlight. Well, now what we can do is we can go ahead and change our width of the flashlight too. So iPhones that have the dynamic island, you can go ahead and hold down on the flashlight in the dynamic island and you can change the spread of that particular you know, flashlight, which again is another very, very cool thing. And having that type of feature is another awesome thing that Apple kind of threw in here. Another cool thing is in the control center. So if we swipe down from the control center, we all know Apple basically added in the capability of, you know, adding different toggles and things like that. But they also added in this power button in the top right corner. So if you look here in the top right corner, there's this new little power button. If you go ahead and tap onto that power button, you can see that we can now just quickly shut, at, shut down our phone. So before we had to click our power buttons and all this other stuff, or maybe we had to go inside of our settings, now we can actually power down our phone, even if our power buttons aren't working. So this in and of itself is another very cool thing that they threw in here. And once again, I'm very, very happy and excited that they added this type of capability inside of this phone again. Now on top of that, one of the craziest things they added is something they didn't even talk about. It's eye tracking. We now actually have eye tracking set up inside of our particular iPhone. And I made a full on other video on my second channel how to do this, but it is very crazy that they gave us this type of capability. So for one, if you wanna do it, you can make your way over into your accessibility settings of your particular iPhone, just like here. You can go into Face ID and Attention, which I think, and there's this new feature called Eye Tracking. So you can literally just go ahead and click on Eye Tracking right here. And if you go ahead and enable Eye Tracking, which is right here, it'll go through a standard procedure of, you know, setting up eye tracking on your particular phone. And then after it's set up, it'll basically have this type of capability set up everywhere. And that's basically it. I mean, it's a crazy thing. It's a very, very cool thing. In my personal opinion, I think it's definitely one of my most favorite things going on for this particular phone of having that type of capability of, you know, enabling eye tracking. And once again, it's a very, very cool thing that you have on this particular phone. On top of that, our calculator app got some pretty big updates too. Now it's not a secret, you know, I think it got a pretty big update, everyone knows. But even the standard basic calculator got a big update too. We now have a back button inside of our calculator. So now you can just click on back rather than swiping through. I wonder if the swipes still work. So the swipe does not work anymore, it's just the back button. So that's really cool we have that. And also now when you're actually typing in equations, all the equations are there. Like everything you type in is there. It's not just a part of it. Which before it was like deleting parts, it was like hiding parts of it. And now we have it here. And you can also see we have our history of our calculator if you click on the top left corner. You also see the history of your calculator right there, which again is another very, very cool thing. You can swipe through and you can even delete those options too. Then you have your calculator button 
in the bottom left corner right here as well. And it is a very, very nice thing that we have here. And finally, we have this new portion inside of our settings application right here, which is dedicated to applications. So if you swipe down all the way, you can see we have our apps section right here. You can tap onto apps and you'll see all the different apps that you have here, which is kind of nice that it's separate before it was right inside of our settings app. And now it's right here. So those are some of my favorite things that I'm surprised Apple didn't talk about inside of their keynote. Some really big iOS features. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.